At this point, it's time to start exporting our textures out of Substance Painter. Now, the easiest way is to upload to Sketchfab, and that's pretty much almost a button click. So let's start with that process. So we're going to go to File, and then we're going to come down to Export Textures, or Control-Shift-E. And then it's going to give us the export document. And pretty much we've got two separate windows. We've got the export, where it's going to send it, and what configuration, and then what texture sets are going to be sent out. So as you can see right here, if you drop this down for this uh, dagger material, it's going to make an albedo map, which is a color, roughness, metallic, normal, and ambient occlusion. So it's going to make all those maps. It's going to designate it as, again, this is a preset. It's going to send it as a JPEG, and it's going to send it to the folder locally and also upload it to the Internet to Sketchfab. So you're going to need an account on Sketchfab before you start this process, which is really easy. You just log into Sketchfab. So let me go down here and bring it up. There you go. So this is the Sketchfab site. All you have to do is go sign up. And once you sign up, you can use your regular uh, Chico State account. And if you get that, sometimes I've heard that they'll update you to the pro version of Sketchfab, which gives you a lot more features and a lot more space on the site. So again, this is what we're going to do. We're going to use this to upload it from Painter. So again, you just make sure you uh, come back to the export document and under config, you can see there's a whole other slew of options to choose from to export your textures in different formats. And the one we want is going to be Sketchfab this time around. So all you got to do is select it and then hit export down here at the bottom. And then it's going to come up with this Sketchfab asset upload. You just tell it what account, and then you say, you know, what the project's going to be. So Dagger, you know, you can say it's for CAGD 330. And then you say, you know, you can say education or whatever, personal model, whatever you want to put in the description and the name. And then you just hit upload. And once you do that, it should ask you for the account and your password. And once those are done, it's going to upload that, and then we'll see how long that takes. And we'll see the result. I'm back. I just went back to the site, and I made sure I logged in. And now, there's my model. So as you can see, it loaded it from Painter straight into Sketchfab. So you can kind of turn it around with the left mouse click and right mouse click. You can use the wheel mouse to zoom in and out. And you can use middle mouse click down and hold and pan around. So it's pretty easy to set up. Uh, you can come down to the bottom. You can play with the settings. You can do the orbit or do first person. There is also the model inspector, which allows you to check out the wireframe of the model and play it with different colors. You can also tell it no wireframe so that you get rid of it. Final render, you can look at the base color, the metalness, the roughness, the normal map, the ambient occlusion map, and then there's a little bit of a Fresnel effect map. You can also add different types of materials onto it, even a UV checker on that, so people can see how well you UV your model. So there's a lot there to actually see what's happening. So I'll just click on back on Final Render. Then there is, you can see it also in VR if you want, I will go full screen. So lots of different options there for you to play around with to get your model up and running. Uh, the other thing you can play with is you can play with the properties. You can start changing the name or the description and what else 
Is this a private model or do you want people to be able to see it? So that's up to you. Uh, you can hit save on that. And then you can also change the 3D settings, which takes you into a whole separate menu. Right here, where you can change the lighting. So you can change the different images that are used, the HDRs used to light your scene. You can play with different materials and you can either, ch and you can even swap out your different materials. So you can click in here and you say manage textures and then manage textures. You can import a new texture to overwrite what you already have or what painter put up. So it's pretty cool. And you can even say how much it affects your scene. So you even have a little way of dialing it down. And again, you've got your roughness and you got your bump map or your normal map, I should say, and occlusion, all the different maps that you can change around. And then you can do some post editing. You can say, you know, you can increase the sharpness of the scene by turning it on and then sharpening it up. I mean, again, that's a little too much. You can even start playing with depth of field a little bit. It could start to look a little blurry in the distance. You can even add film grain. There's a vignetting just to help add a little bit of visual interest to the model. And then you can even make animations and drop them in here. And then the virtual reality, how that's going to kick in. So there's a lot of settings you can play with within Sketchfab. And then once you're done and you like everything you've got, all you have to do is come over to save settings and it will save those settings for you. So I'm, I'm actually going to zoom in just a little bit here and change the lighting using alt and middle mouse click. I'm changing the lighting so I can give it just a shine a little bit better. And then I'm going to save the settings and I want people to be able to come in here and see it the way I have it here. Then I'll just hit exit. And then now it should load the way I have it. That's a little different. Not exactly the camera angle I was looking for, but close enough. And you can play with the lighting just by pressing the alt key and metal mouse clicking. You can change your lighting around and see how that looks. It's pretty cool. All right, so that's how you upload your model to Sketchfab. Once, uh, once you've done this and you've played with the settings and you like it, uh, if you want to embed it anywhere else in a project, all you have to do is go down to Embed. And what it does is it gives you the HTML code. Do you need to embed this into any other website? Uh, if you were to actually... Um, want to use this to turn this in, in into like learn or uh, a post or anything, you might need to use this code. Or if anything, you just can hit the share button and then get this direct link right here. And then you can drop this direct link into learn for the turn in assignment. So someone can click on this and it'll take you to directly to the Sketchfab website. Uh, and also, here's the embed code also right here, too. You can click on. So a couple ways of embedding or sending people to your model. All right. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video.